Hey everyone, a very important video to most of you because I got questions about this new plasticity version, about the new live mirror command and symmetry and I will show you today with this simple product that nothing has changed. So what do I mean by that? So in the courses, so I'm not promoting here like <laughs> the courses right now, but just to explain it to you, for example, where we model this helmet here, so you see it's exactly um, symmetrical, right? Or the motorcycle, the power tools, or the car, most of the products are kind of symmetric, right? So, and now we have this live symmetry um, tool where you can model on one half and it will update automatically the left. And some people wrote me, or you have to update now all of the uh, courses that you have, all of the tutorials, you have to re-record them because everything changed and nothing of your courses works anymore. And I understand those concerns. That's why I'm doing this video, but it's absolutely not true. It's the, the thing is that everything what I show in all of my courses, in all of my previous tutorials, the workflow and the techniques of surface modeling, how to model those products is absolutely unchanged. Everything is 100% exactly the same. And you can follow along with every course and every tutorial, free or paid, what I've created in the previous version. Only one ch thing changed, which is now for you a luxury, is you can now just activate, and I will show you in a second, uh, when we will model this uh, product, you can now activate this uh, live mirror command thing, right? And while you are modeling the right side, you can just directly see the change on the left side. But you will still see, and I've picked exactly this example because this techniques and workflows, it's, it's this exactly the same as all of those other uh, things, is always the exact same. So when you are following of my uh, previous courses, um, previous tutorials or my courses that I recorded in the previous tutorials, you can follow along 100% exactly the same with the same tools, same techniques, same functions, same everything. But you can just, you now can activate in the beginning the mirror command and you can just follow along and you have the luxury that you see directly also, that you also will directly uh, see the left side. And I am in the course only modeling the right side, kind of. And then always in the end and in between, we are kind of uh, manually mirroring that. So just to see the proportion and stuff. So you can now just with three clicks activate the mirror command and you have the luxury you can see on the left. But still, <laughs> we will all also, even you, and with the new mirror command, you still always work on one half. So you can't work on both sides at the same time, right? It's we work on one half and you just get the visual representation on the left side, <laughs> but everything else is 100% exactly the same. So it's easier if I just show it to you in this tutorial here from this product. So yeah, let's jump in and everything will make sense for you. And I know I did say that I don't want to promote my courses, but just in case that if you were like interested in one of my courses, yes, you can absolutely still buy them. Or you can also watch my free co uh, YouTube tutorials, the previous ones, it's everything exactly the same. So let's dive in. Um, okay, so a link in the description from that image you can download and I use here pure ref this program. So it's always on the top. Okay, so we start very simple with the circular shape. So we just go here, solid mode, select this cube, press X to delete it. And we just start with the center circle and snap it to the center and drag out here on the X axis. So something like that. While the curve is selected or circle, press E for extrude. And let's extrude this a little bit. Something like that should be fine. And if you want, you can press three, select the face and just adjust it here, the size. Press two, select this curve at the bottom and X to delete it. Okay, so for now, everything, um, yeah, nothing changes. And we want now to create this super simple surface here at the front. 
So then we can later start to connect that and yeah, do some surface modeling. Um, for that, very simple, we just go to the top view and we can just create here a line and just create a straight line. So I will just eyeball that, something like that, right click. And you see it's not in the middle. So while this curve or line is selected, press G, grab, grab it here on the X arrow and control click here to the axis and this way it will be in the middle. Um, now we have to add a little bit of a curve, right? So we see we have a little curve. So curve is selected, shift S to subdivide it and just select this point with G, bring it down a little bit, something like that. Just a little bit, should be fine, perfect. Now you see it's at the bottom, so we have to bring it to the same height as this uh, circle here. Press two, select this curve, G, and just bring it up and with control click here to the edge and you snap it to the same height. Now this is selected, press E for extrude and just extrude and create our little surface here. So something like that should be, should be fine, maybe a little bit shorter because we will have to add uh, a big bridge edge. So something like that. So yeah, I'm just eyeballing. Select this curve here at the top so you can just click on it with edge mode and just hide it for now. And now we have to cut this in half in any way. So go to the front view, create a line here on the left and just snap in the middle over the whole objects or surfaces and while this curve is selected, press C to cut this main body and the same as again, select the curve, press C and cut into this small surface. Right click and now object mode, just select those two surfaces, X to delete them, select this curve and just hide it. Okay, so now before the new uh, yeah, version, we would or I would work now just on one half and do everything that we will do in a second. So we will just create this, yeah, this uh, device product on one half. And then when we are finished, we would just uh, mirror that over on the left with the normal mirror command. But now you or we have the luxury to uh, mirror that. And we can do that by selecting the object and select both of the surfaces, press F and type in create instance. So press uh, type in create, create instance. So you have this instance here and while those two sheets instances are selected, you can press Alt X for the mirror command and just bring it to the other side. Right click, perfect. And now, yeah, if you take this edge and bring it down, then it goes also for the other side, obviously. So, so far, no technique, nothing really changed. Now you just see it on the left. So what we want to do now is I want to cut this face here in half because we will have to connect somewhere here to this edge, then this surface here, right? So exactly as we also have here. So let's do that by pressing three, select this face. And if you press F, you can search for isoparam. And uh, let's go here to the right view and just snap here at the top edge where it says mid, so to the middle, something like that. And now press two, you can just select this edge and just bring it down to, just to yeah, make some space. And this looks good. And now we have to connect those two edges, right, to close this hole. So select this edge and this edge and press F and type in bridge. And here we give it G0 and here we give it G1. Uh, G0 because we have here a sharp edge and G1 because yeah, we want here a nice smooth transition. Right click and you see this curve is not even uh, mirrored, that, uh, mirrored and uh, we don't need that. And also the second curve that we will create will not be mirrored. So we don't need the mirror command. And what I mean by that is we want now to um, connect this edge somewhere with here, right? Because also you see we have this edge, which is now yellow selected. And we want it to connect here to our main body somewhere here. So we will do that by going to the right view, create a line and just snap 
to the edge. Maybe you can rotate around, so you make sure that you snap to exactly this corner point. Now you can go to the right view and yeah, go somewhere here. So it's just approximate, uh, so we just guess it a little bit, right click. And uh, yeah, just leave here a little bit of a distance because uh, we will have to fill in the surface here also in a second. So this curve is selected and now we have to imprint that. Press F and search for imprint and just select this main body, right click and you see we have this tiny little edge. And this is exactly what we want because now we can bridge that with this edge. And first of all, I will only select this curve and just press H to hide it just to keep it for you mm, yeah, a little bit uh, uh, yeah, easier to see. So select this edge and this edge with shift click and press F and bridge again like that and just give it here G1 and G1. You see, so we have this nice connection here, right? Something like that. And now the cool thing about the new mirror is, is even though, so press two, and now we just with shift click, we want to select all of those surfaces. So now we will patch it. So if you press F and patch it, bam. The nice thing is now, even though we create a new surface, but because the surface will be directly attached here to our main body, it will automatically mirror that. So that's good. So press here G1, so we have a nice, beautiful, smooth uh, connection. And right click. And now you can select both of those blue curves and hide them as well. So again, the thing is, if we would not have those instances, until this point, it's so we would do exactly the same. First create this curve and this curve, bridge them, then create the surface. And now we would have to, or in the course, I would just select this, press Alt X, and here it's exactly on, on the left side. So nothing changed at all. So let's continue here. We still have, or you still have the instances. And now we have to fill in the surface. And the thing is, you can't, even with this new mirror instance thing, live mirror, you can't now select this whole edge here, right? Because you can't select the edge from the mirrored piece. So we have to do now exactly the same as if we would not have it. We would, we have to select those two edges from our original body and bridge them. So select those two edges, press F and bridge like that, press tap tap, so we just have a G1. So we have like that, right? Right click. And still now we still have to, like in every of my 300 YouTube tutorials and all of my courses, we still have to use this curve and press E to create a supporting edge. Because we have to create tangency here because we ha don't have any other surface that we can take the tangency information. Right click. And important, hide now this curve, so make sure it's black. And only now you can, again, with edge mode, select all of those, don't forget this piece, edges and patch it again. And <laughs> you see, we get even like the supporting surface mirrored and I don't want that because it's super confusing. But anyway, I will just show it to you. So you give everywhere G1 except here the sharp edge G0 and right click. And now you would have to delete also with the mirror command this supporting edge with shift X and now it's fine. So you see maybe if you watch already my other tutorials, I also want to show you that what we would do without mirror. It's exactly the same because if I just go back, so until this point and I just delete here our instances, in all of the courses, in all of the tutorials, we would do exactly the same. We would first select those edges and bridge them with G1. Now we have to extrude it anyway and hide this curve. And now we select all of those edges exactly as we just did with the live mirror and patch it and give it here again everywhere G1, except here G0 where the sharp edges. Now we would have exactly the same to remove this edge. And now we would now, for example, it's finished, right? So we could Alt X and mirror that over. And you see, it's exactly the same.
So I just wanted to make this video because like a few people wrote that and I know a lot of more think that way that Oh yeah, all of my courses don't work anymore. <laughs> all of my courses have to be updated. No, like everything, every command, every tool, absolutely everything is 100% exactly the same. The only difference is that in the course I work on one half and what you can do, you can just type an instance or create instance and press then Alt X and bring it to the other side. And for example, in the course, uh, let's just say, I don't know, I just create here a circle, right? And I create a hole, so I imprint, so I cut that, delete, delete now this little piece. And in the course, you only see that on the one half, but because you have now the instance command, you just directly see it on the left side. But again, it's exactly the same everything, you know? So if you are interested, to learn car modeling, all sorts of products, motorcycles, helmet, power tools, also some beginner courses. You can check out first link below this video. I have those courses. Currently also the winter sale is ongoing so you can save massively. And if you want to learn surface modeling and plasticity, the most important techniques and workflows, which are fundamental, which will be always the same, then you can check it out. First link in the description. Leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.